So we're at the end of our 21 days and we're here to celebrate the 21 years of the Entrepreneurs Academy. So great to see you all again. Thank you a huge amount to those of you that uh, did videos as part of the team and alumni of the 40,000 people that have been through the Academy. Absolutely fantastic to be reminded of all your successes and your stories and great to see you all. So thank you for doing that. So to answer some of the questions that I've been asked, what advice would I give to entrepreneurs? Number one, believe in yourself. There are going to be days when nobody believes in you apart from yourself. Really important. Stay steadfast. Believe in yourself all the time. The second thing is, is keep moving forward. Even when things are really getting a bit, a lot of friction and so on, keep moving forward. You'll fail, but fail forward and just keep on moving. Third thing is, is that take time to reflect. Not too much time. You don't want to be doing a whole load of navel gazing over things, but you do need time to reflect. You need to evaluate your experience. So you have an experience, but then you need to evaluate that experience. Otherwise that experience is lost. So keep on taking time to reflect, step out from your business and make sure you're making good strides and good steps forward. Um, another bit of advice I would say, certainly from, from my own experience, keep on learning. We're good today. We're really good today, but we need to be even better tomorrow for what we have to face tomorrow. So keep on learning, keep investing in yourself, keep on learning. That is vitally, vitally important. Um, and finally, my final bit of advice to entrepreneurs is look after yourself and look after your people and really love your people because it's, it's people in a business that make it worthwhile and make it work. Second question, what learnings have I had of my 21 years? Well, I, I have had loads of them, but the most important ones for me as I hit move towards 50, 21 years in business are I've got to be fit for business. I've got to sleep well and sleep long. I've got to eat well. I've got to exercise and I've got to drink a lot of water. Um, I just can't perform at my best if I don't do that. So that's extremely important. I make better decisions. Um, I, I take better action. I present better. Everything goes better when I do all of those things. So that would be one of my learnings that I didn't do early on, but I definitely do now. The second thing is, is make sure you have fun. You work hard. We all work hard. We work hard in our businesses. So let's have fun while we're doing it. I think that's really, really important. And thirdly, Make sure that your business is part of your purpose. We're only here once. Uh, and it, it's really important for me that the businesses that I'm involved in uh, are all part of me fulfilling my purpose of being here. I am really interested in learning, really interested in growth. I'm really interested in maximizing people's potential, both yours and mine. So um, the businesses that I'm all involved in are all to do with that, to do with learning, growth, development and maximizing our potential and making sure that we really achieve our full potential. That's really important. So make sure that it's purposeful, uh, your business. Leadership lessons, uh, I would say probably the most important one is that leadership can be learned. Some of us are born with better leadership skills than others in the same way as some of us are born with more artistic talent and music, but it can be learned. So invest in yourself. Leadership is an inside job. It's about who you are. It's a muscle that can be, that can be worked hard and strengthened. So um, work, that would be my, my, my most important leadership lesson is that it can be learned. All of us are leaders, every single one of us. We are leading people all the time. The thing about it is, is sometimes we're leading them well and sometimes we're leading them not so well. So keep on learning about leadership and keep on investing in yourself. That's really important. Um, my most memorable training uh, session, I've had loads of them, loads of them. I loved training in finance. When I started off, I did all the finance sessions for the Start Your Own Business programs. I, I loved it. I loved the financial. I love what the numbers can tell you about your business. And I loved those eureka moments when other people could see that too. So they're very memorable moments for me uh, as I trained in Leos around the country as they were county enterprise boards at the time. But I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Now I do much more training in the area of leadership when I am training. I don't do very much of it now, but when I do do a little bit of it, um, I love when I get to meet entrepreneurs that are looking to build their business, looking to grow the business, looking to get and looking to step out of their business in the same way as I've stepped out of mine very much so. So um, I love I, I just love the people. I love the people. I, I love I love the jigsaw of big business and playing around with it and seeing how can we just make it better. And my most memorable moments are all to do with people that have been on our training programs. Uh, a, a lot that I still know that I still talk to about their businesses and how they're getting on. So that brings us to our end of our 21 days. Thank you so much for watching and being part of it. I hope you're one of the 40,000 that has been through one of our programs and it's going to come back and do some more training with us too. 
come have lunch with me. If you'd like to come and have lunch with me, I'd love to have lunch with you. Come have lunch with me by just clicking like on this video. Uh, the team are going to, I'm not sure how they do it, but they choose a couple of people. We're going to have lunch together. Some of you, I hope I know you and some of you, I hope I don't. I would love to have lunch with you on the 26th of March. Uh, so like down below. Thanks a million. Bye.